friends, there's a fine line between being a conspiracy theorist and seeing a clear pattern. I walk that way, and I am confident in perceiving a common thread among these attacks on Oscorp and Norman Osborne by the deep. Motive? It's hard to ascribe motive to lunatics, but I suspect it's no accident that they're striking at both a pillar of our corporate community and the center of our city's government. It's our very way of life that's under assault, as I have always warned. If you've been listening to me, you're ready. If not, I'll pray. Backup needed for a chase in progress. Please mobilize on Museum Mile. You better stop them before they end up in driver's head videos. Legit job? You wouldn't need to be criminals. Glad I stopped that. Too many crazy drivers in the city as it is. gave me work. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Here somewhere. Need to draw him away from the stairs. Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Stay. 
Candish is in real danger. I should get a photo of this. Got it. Time to move. Standish. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. <laughs> Crap. Generator tripped. I won't distract him for long. We lose our shot. Get that truck moving. Should have been uptown half an hour ago. Copy. We're rolling. Control. Status. Go, go, go. Looks important. Perfect. Gotta move. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michael just carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure. His ego doesn't bite him in the ass. Again? What's up with these lights? Safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. Move it. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, 
Where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. <laughs> he wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. Watson. I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh! What the hell? He's not a Sable guy. Definitely not a Sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. Well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. You knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. You know, this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. I gotta blow off some steam on patrol. Miles' is mom. Mr. Parker, it's Rio Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feast shelter. Glad to. And please call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he had That's reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Ed May know, and I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. bomb threat. Officers needed in Koreatown.
This station's simple, but really important. It measures toxins in the air, way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. If his data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. <coughs> okay, got that one! <coughs> should do it. <coughs> oh, don't die. Don't die. Pardon me. <coughs> That's it. <Phew. laughs> okay. Looks like we have three guilty parties. I'll need to get pictures of them for proof. Taking pictures. Just like the old bugle days. Life was so much simpler back then. Don't like me. Huh. Be One down. Keeper. Call ordered, courtesy of your Earth-friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Peter, I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can.
drug trade's gotten more aggressive post Fisk. Gotta stop that out. Aww, you guys are like little kingpins in training. So cute! Nothing puts a pep in my step like halting an illegal drug deal. I'll text Yuri the location. Cops will be here in no time. Trapped in their vehicles following a severe accident. Incident is ongoing in the West Village. While I'm here, I should examine the transmitter MJ found. If I can reverse engineer this, it should track Tombstone's shipments.
That should do it. Time for a test run. Okay, just gotta follow the signal. Should lead to whatever it is Tombstone's moving. Tombstone. This guy's the mother of all headaches. Impermeable skin plus zero morals equals bad time. Hope running a chop shop's the worst thing he's up to. Not this way. There. That truck. Out for a Sunday drive? Oh boy, gang's all here. Biker gang down. Let's see what's in that truck. Uh, chemical containers. But they're scrubbed clean. Looks like they came from the Alchemax plant in Harlem, but what was in them? And that sound means the end of our lightning round. Should head to Alchemax when I get a chance and find out what was in those barrels. Tombstone's up to something. Probably illegal. Definitely dangerous.
Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Okay, looks like I could optimize this power relay. Nice. Okay, what next? Looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. Finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag.
I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I call that a mild success. I call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Ah, uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? Provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms. Man. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Mob enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy.
Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Peter is starting to suspect. Hmm. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. <laughs>